Good morning. Today is day two on my adventures here in Shinagawa, Shibuya, Shinjuku, wherever I end up exploring. And my first real day of a full day that I can actually explore because yesterday I commuted all the way from Narita City to Shinagawa to stay at my hotel. Now, yesterday I was feeling so, so run down and ill and I did wake up with the most awful sore throat, like it was hard to swallow. I didn't set any alarms and I did wake up naturally at around 7.30 in the morning. Now it is just past 9 and I'm basically going to have a quick meal and head out into town. I'm feeling good enough that I can explore and I also have Advil on me in case I need some. Um, I do plan on exploring more of Shibuya today. There are a few places I want to hit up. There's a few vegetarian places and also I'm still looking for the Dagashi bar, which is basically an all-you-can-eat candy for an hour while you drink. And that sounds so exciting to me, so I really want to do that. So hopefully I'll be able to find it today. I was in the right spot. To be honest, I think I know where it was, but there was like a really long line. So today, if I go there, I'm sure I'll be able to get there much earlier in the day. It is supposed to rain today so and I'm not really feeling the best so I did decide to dress a little warmer and I threw a weird combination of clothes together but if it keeps me a little bit warmer because I didn't pack the best I'll take it so I'm wearing this black sweater here this really long fluffy sweater here and tights underneath that have like a nice mesh on the sides and some Sailor Moon socks and that is my look and I'm wearing a couple accessories a Sailor Moon watch which isn't set to the right time but it looks super cute and this necklace for some gold accent so yesterday I did end up going to 7-eleven and picking up a couple of alcoholic drinks one it was a 3% Momo peach drink and it was so so yummy it was hardly alcoholic at all and it was just delicious the other one was a Chuhai. I didn't think it was the best. It was very lemony but very bitter. I had like a sip and I just put it in the back of the fridge because I was ready to pass out because I was so run down. There was also a, what was the other drink that I had? Sorry, I had to ask. So the name of the drink that I tried was called Highball and I do not like the taste of whiskey. For me, it's just like a really strong, mm, unpleasant flavor and that's what Highball tastes like, but it's more of a strong drink, I think. So I had a little bit of Highball and I had my Momo Peach um, drink and that was it. And I just crashed. Like honestly, I could have crashed even before that. I watched the newest episode of Solo Leveling, which was great. Um, but honestly, I almost fell asleep during that episode because I just felt so awful, but I wanted to watch, so I kept going. But at 7-Eleven, I also got a few onigiri and they're all different flavors. Here I have red salmon and salt. I have a tuna mayo. I have a pickled plum. This is the one that I wanted to try the most. I'm most excited to try this one. And a salmon roe soy sauce. So these are the four onigiri that I want to try today. It's essentially going to be my breakfast before heading out. I also have a hotel coffee that I've been sipping on. And, and I also poured myself a roasted green tea. I'm really liking the roasted green tea. I've never tried it before coming to Japan. I definitely like stronger flavors for like my coffees and teas, I guess. Um, so good. So I also have some probiotics here with me that I will probably take before starting my meal. It's because gut health is really important and um, unfortunately for me, I did get a UTI last August and since then it's been a roller coaster ride with my gut, which basically wipes your microbiome for like two years. So I'm trying my hardest to repair my gut to the best of my abilities. So. Mm. Any hot drink when you're feeling ill, when it's supposed to be a rainy day today, when the weather's cooler, even hot soup is so good. So I think I'm going to jump right into the pickled plum here just because I am a bit of a sweeter girl. I think this is supposed to taste a little tart, but either way, I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it tastes like. 
it was really hard to find pescatarian friendly food on like YouTube videos and things like that because most of the ones that I was finding were people that were full on vegetarian. They didn't eat fish. Um, oh yeah, I'm opening this the wrong way, I think. <laughs> I definitely am. Well, we're gonna set the rice to the side for now because I, I think I opened this really incorrectly. I apologize for being such an amateur. I know I'm an amateur. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm just breaking this every which way. Oh. Well, hopefully it will still taste the best even though this is a total fail on my part. Hopefully I'll open the next one correctly. So let's take the first bite. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got rice all over myself. <laughs> so that first bite, I didn't get any pickled plum, so I'm gonna have to eat a little bit more to find that pickled plum. Mmm. Finally getting there. I think I tasted a little bit, but not too much. So that's what the inside looks like. I guess I'm just gonna finish this because I really have to dig for this pickled plum. The rice is really nice. One thing I heard about 7-Eleven's rice is that they really do make really good rice. I mean, I'm no expert on rice, but it's pretty good rice. Mmm. Okay, yeah, it is really tart. I was expecting it to be a little sweeter, but it's like incredibly tart. So that was the plum. I guess it's a pickled plum, so that's why I'd be a little tart. Tart. Next, I think I'm gonna go with the tuna mayonnaise. So hopefully this time I can open it correctly. And I might even get some help here. So you have to do the sides, right? Oh, it says one, two, three. One. It literally has steps. I didn't read you guys. One. Two, three. Much better! Yay! This amateur learned how to open onigiri. <laughs> Maybe I should have just read. Okay, let's try this one. This is the tuna mayonnaise. Um, usually I don't like tuna, but I do like tuna in like sushi. I don't like tuna in like canned form. So let's see if I like this. Hmm. Okay, this tastes very much like canned tuna. I might have to donate this one, I'm not gonna lie. It just has that very tuna-y flavor. I can eat tuna on sushi, but I'm not the biggest fan of the tuna flavor. My dogs love tuna. I'm gonna have to set that to the side because I can't eat it. <laughs> Too much tuna. Let's drink some coffee to cleanse the mouth. So now salmon roe, soy sauce, and red salmon and salt. Let's go with the red salmon and salt. So step one, pull down, go all the way around to the back, fling it open. And then two and three, you just pull and pull. Oh, this one I messed up. I lost the sides somehow. I must have been pinching on the sides. So. When you see professionals doing this, it looks so easy and then I do it, I'm just like. All right, let's try this one.
I haven't gotten much of the salmon, but you can see the salmon in there. So let's try another bite and see if we can taste the salmon. Mmm. Mmm. I really like salmon, but this is a different flavor of salmon that I've never really experienced before. It's a little bit more fishy. I'm making a big mess. It's pretty good, but it really does have like a similar like very fishy flavor just like the tuna because it is cold it almost tastes like a canned fish cleanse the mouth okay last one and hopefully i can open this the right way i think i messed up on the pulling portion because i tore the seaweed so step one easy And then step two, step three, oh I did it! I think I just have to be a little bit more gentle instead of tugging super hard. Yay! I think this is my first successful attempt to unpackage an onigiri without help. Alright, so this is the salmon pro. I think I'm actually most excited for this for the fish ones. So let's go ahead. So you can really see the salmon inside, but I haven't really gotten to any yet. So I'm going to go ahead and take another bite. Mmm. Mmm. This one's good. Definitely my favorite out of all the fish ones. I did really like the pickled plum one too. But there really wasn't much pickled plum inside, I feel. Well, that's it for my breakfast meal. There were a couple onigiris that I wanted to try that I didn't see in the selection. Those ones included wasabi onigiri and an umi onigiri. Maybe I'll be able to find these at a different 7-Eleven sometime soon. There are so many vegetarian places that I want to try to hit up today in Shibuya. Some of them are just grocery stores that have more vegetarian friendly options. Others are full on restaurants and there's even an izakaya's apparently vegan or vegetarian or something so I'm definitely gonna give these ones a try I really hope that I can hit up the dagashi bar today because that would be amazing but anyway I'm basically all ready to head out into town so I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the train station to Shibuya I might film a little bit with my phone or something of like how to use the ticket booth system but it is a little complicated the one thing that I will recommend is one there are English booths, so I don't know if they're all English, but at least the one that I've been using, it literally has like an English sticker that says that this one does it in English for you. And then you use the search feature to type in the city that you want to go to. If it is not available in the system, you're at the wrong ticket booth. <laughs> you need to find the ticket booth that when you do the search and you find your city, that that's the one you're purchasing for the ticket. That is if you're doing the tickets individually. Right now, I have yet to be able to get a Suica card, so I've just been doing the individual tickets. Honestly, I think it works pretty fine. There was one occasion that I purchased 
tickets that were the same price as the tickets I needed but the machine didn't take it because it wasn't for the right station. I was trying to go through the gate and it's like, what are you doing? This is not it. I'm thankful that it refused me to go through it because otherwise I would have went through it and then either got on the wrong train or realized I had to backtrack. So it'll waste more time. So I'm glad that even though I wasted money, <laughs> I was refused entry by the ticket machine thing. And it's pretty easy to use too. All you have to do is slide your ticket into the feeder. And then once you get to the other side, you pick up your ticket. It'll have a little hole through the top of your ticket and you take your ticket with you because once you are exiting, you need to put your ticket in again and you don't collect your ticket. It just takes it and you're done. So just because I was very confused with the system, I think I'll try my best to at least use my phone to film it for you. I don't wanna pull my whole camera out at a busy station. Yesterday on route to Shibuya, I was actually packed in like sardines in the station in the train um, it was really busy and then even before the doors were closed there were people still trying to shove onto the, the train and get on so they didn't miss the train and hopefully today i won't be going through such busy hours because i was on the train around 6 30 so try not to take a busy train station train around a rush hour or peak hour because it's really packed and busy and make sure that if you're carrying a backpack, you take it off and you hold it in the front or something so you're not overcrowding people because that's considered really rude and you want to be able to make sure that people can fit on the train. With all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my meal and 